Semaphore is a health intelligence company that aims to better diagnose, treat, and prevent diseases by basically aggregating all of the data that can inform on a patient's condition and being able to provide guidance around that patient effectively to healthcare providers. Ultimately, our aim is how can we provide better guidance for individuals so they never get sick. I've been at the Mount Sinai Health System for five, six years. We achieved pretty good success. We took the genetics department at Mount Sinai from a ranking of 35th or so genetic departments in the country to number four. We had evolved testing to provide state-of-the-art genomic testing within the Mount Sinai Health System, but what I noticed was the difficulty in being able to translate all of the high-end research into the clinic in a way a clinician could actually leverage to offer guidance to a patient. When I stepped back to kind of think about why aren't we more successful at translating the research into the clinic, it came down to the accuracy of the models we could build, that the accuracy just wasn't high enough, we didn't have enough data to fit these models to offer the best guidance in a clinically actionable way. So my motivation for starting Semaphore was to pull out everything we were doing at Mount Sinai into Semaphore to scale to scale it outside the tri-state area, to scale it nationally, internationally, and really engage the right number of patients to acquire enough data to build these models. The platform Semaphore is developing, Centralis, think of big data management platform with sophisticated artificial intelligence layered on top for improved data analytics, predictive modeling, and better guidance. So that platform can serve many different verticals. It's very much like a search engine where you're going to query the data that you have around a patient and back comes the insights. From a patient standpoint, think of it more as an Amazon model where it's we understand the health of that patient better than the health system so we're in a better position to match that patient to products and services. So there's a really important distinction in what we're doing is the ability to follow at higher frequency resolution over time what's happening in a patient's life. The type of consenting we do on the patient allows us to go into any medical system they've ever been part of to retrieve data for them, manage on their behalf, to reconstruct their longitudinal journeys. And we're now in a position where we're over 600 people. We're running at a run rate of 150 to 200,000 next generation sequencing tests a year. We're consenting patients on a massive scale to aggregate their information and we have our partner with Mount Sinai launching from that point in the near term what we're hoping to do is to continue rolling out the first wave of tools that we've developed for physicians in both oncology and reproductive health to engage the complex data being generated around patients in ways that facilitate decision making in the patient. We're operating within the healthcare system. We understand physician workflows and how physicians work, how billing works, and all of those pieces. It's not just about the data and the models. You have to have the most holistic solution, and that's the solution we provide.